Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of IPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the dialog and clipboard activities under the system section. So first we'll enter a text in the input dialog activity and the output that we get, we can uh, see it in a message box. For that we'll use a message box activity. Then we can use the same output which we get from this uh, input dialog activity set to the cl uh, clipboard and get the text uh, from the clipboard using get from clipboard activity and then display it in a message box. Uh, after we are done with these activities, we will see how the select file activity works. So first I will drag and drop the input dialog activity. The input dialog activity displays a dialog box with a message and an input field. So here for the title, we will just give it as test and for field label we will give it as enter text and here uh, once we run the sequence uh, the user has to enter uh, the text so that text will be assigned to this variable var out which we can then uh, uh, see in a message box so we will drag and drop a message box the message box displays a message box with the given text. So here we have to give var output, which is the output from the previous activity as input over here. Now let's click on save and run the sequence. Here, see, this is the uh, input dialog that has come. The label uh, here we gave the here once if you click here the title is test and field label is enter text so if we just quickly open that here we can see the title is test and the field label is enter text now once we enter something let's say rpa genie and you click ok it will return it in the message box since that is what we gave over here in the message box uh, for it to return well, let's just click ok now we will use the set to clipboard activity so i'll just uh, delete this for now and drag in the set to clipboard activity uh, the set to clipboard activity copies input uh, text to clipboard so here now i want uh, the output from this activity which is var output that is the text that we enter in the input uh, dialog to be set to the clipboard. So here I will type in var output. All right. Now we should get that text from the clipboard. From uh, so we we'll uh, type in get from clipboard and the same thing var output. The get from clipboard activity retrieves the copied text from the clipboard. Then we will drag and drop a message box. So here we can again give var output. So let's click on save all and run the sequence. So here we can just try RPG again. Okay, so what it has done is it uh, we entered the text into this uh, input dialog box and then it set to the clipboard, it got that text from the clipboard and it displayed in the message box. Here in the output, we can see that each activity has been executed. See, here we can see input dialog box set to clipboard, get from clipboard, and the message box. All right. So now next we'll see how the select file activity works. So I'll just go ahead and delete all these activities. Yeah, this, the select file activity, uh, it opens a window to select the file. So here, we have in this input, in the filter option, we can see uh, here it's already filled out. It's written all files in brackets, star dot star and uh, line. 
bar star dot star. So now what I will do is uh, the output over here will return the full path of a file. So here what I'll do is I'll drag and drop a message box and here in the selected file I'll just create a file called var selected selected file And in the message box, I'll give the same var selected file. Now let's click on save and run the sequence. Here it'll you can see it'll open the win a window saying select file. Now we can go to any folder. So here uh, I have uh, various folders. So if I click on this folder. Now if I want to get the path of this folder, I'll click on that and then I'll just click on open. Here it has returned the full path of that uh, particular file, .xls file. So that is what is happening. Uh, in the select file, it will uh, here, since it's given all files, uh, it will show a complete list of all the files. And if we select a particular file, it will return uh, the path. Uh, our full path of that file and it will assign it to this variable which we can display in a message box. Now for instance if we want only uh, PNG files in a folder. For example uh, I have some PNG files in this folder so then I would have to write files star dot png star dot png now let's just run the sequence here let's just go to that particular folder as you can see these are all the png files now let's say I'll just take this particular uh, file and open it it will return the uh, full path of that PNG file. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.